Alright guys, TKL Kells here, back with another walkthrough, part 2. Let's talk to Nimbus here. So, you're the light bearer. Huh. Look, I I'm not gonna claim my uh, mind's eye as anything special. But you hear Earth's immortal warlords growing up and you think like... round shields and bushy eyebrows. And here you come, stepping around, smacking bad guys with green, stringy stuff. I mean, that was... <laughs> I've never seen anything like it. Anyways, enough about you. I'm Nimbus. I'm the rookie Cloud Strider here in Neomuna. The Cloud Striders have kept this city safe for generations. Sans Guardians. But seems like we got lots of similar goals. Or at least, similar enemies. Rohan asked me to be your guiding light for the time being. I'd do pretty much anything to keep the Vale and the people of Neo Muna safe. But when I took my oath, I didn't think I'd be babysitting. <laughs> well, then again, mind's eye. Not great. Now, you know the Vale's in danger. I know where those big guys are headed. So let's go do some hero stuff. May this transmission reach you, wherever you find yourself. The scepter will rest true in the hands of its wielder, but a message comes with no such guarantee. In the aftermath of the Witnesses' attack, the Vanguard called for aid. On behalf of the Awoken people, I answered. We now face a war on two fronts. One on the far reaches of the system, and the other at your home, Earth. Continue your fight against the Voice in the Darkness. I will assist as best I can in your absence. But even my powers have their limits. Return when you are able. Your people need their heroes. Okay, Mara. You don't have to tell me twice. She called me anywhere. Anything cool lately? Have you guys 
Time to see the farm yet? It's nice out there. Well, it was nice there before all the fighting started. Smell you, Pookas. My vision was true. Even after years of speculation, no one guessed the Ishtar Collective made it here. Let alone build a city we couldn't find. As for Kallus, his grip on the city remains strong. But it appears these Cloud Striders are keeping him at bay. For the time being, at least. His pursuit of this object, the Veil, is of dire importance. If he gets to it first, Urgency is key, Guardian. We cannot fail. Hello, Rohan. She's my favorite. You Earthlings know how to make an entrance, don't you? I'm Rohan, Cloud Strider, protector of the city of Neomuna. Welcome to Neptune, Lightbearer. Never thought I'd say that. I always figured if Lightbearers came here, I'd be fighting them off. Lucky for both of us, we're on the same side. In any case, I hope we can find common ground. Or at least common enemies. I'm sure we can. With Neomono Civil News, I, Jisoo Colorado. Accounts across the city indicate the conflict between the Earth Warlords and the invading Cabal Empire has advanced to our fair city. The Vex have taken advantage of the chaos to encroach on the Western Front, transforming our plazas into an active war zone. All citizens are promoted to active defense duties, effective immediately. Repeat, all citizens are promoted to active defense duties. Stay tuned to Neomono Civil News for updates.
You heard Osiris. We need to get to the Vale before Callus and his Shadow Legion. Let's get in the city. I'll open a radio channel with Nimbus. I bet your enemies never see you coming, Hunter. I don't look at now, I know, but time was they never saw me coming either. city is impressive. That's the Amuna for you. You should see it in the Cloud Ark. Cloud Ark? It's where all of the Amuna citizens live virtually. I keep the city and their slumbering bodies safe. We shouldn't get distracted. Securing the Veil before Callus is the most important task. Do not delay. concerns right now. Push forward, Guardian. Well, tiny problem on top of that. Seems like the Shadow Legion put up a couple of barriers between you and your goal. I managed to ping a keycard using the city's tech that might work with the barrier. I'll keep looking around for more, but you can start there.
How many more do we need for this? I'm tracking down the last few as we speak, Kent. Actually, it looks like they're on their way to you, Lightbearer. number on this data. So much of it is corrupted. That's different than the Vex corruption attempts I'm used to. Let's find ourselves a workaround. So long as we don't waste any more time. Callus's forces are occupying enough of your city.
quick look. I got it. It's no big deal. It's a complex system. I'm fine. I just feel a little off. Lucky if the witness doesn't have the veil in its possession already. Are you always this much fun? Fun is not my concern right now. With the amount of power the veil has, I think it can hold its own a little longer. You're a hop skip and a couple rooftops away from the veil, light bearer. The closer we get, the more I feel strange. Ugh, something is wrong. I feel drained. Some of our powers are gone. What is this device? It appears to be some sort of paracausal disruptor. I shall research it more to find a weakness. But for now, carry on.
that's a lot of shadow legion. stronger this time. I feel sick. Like I shouldn't be here. We're in this together. Osiris and Nimbus need to hear about this.
So, the veil's safe, for now. I don't have an Earth Warlord translation for this, so uh, stick with me. If Callus uses whatever that radial thingy is and somehow destroys the veil, well, it's tied directly to our Cloud Arc and literally all Neo Mooney. I don't think you need a Warlord translation for why that's bad. From the sound of it, your buddy there, Osiris, wants to go in guns a blazing, which, hey, I fully support. But the old man, the uh, other old man, my old man, not literally, but, you know. Between you and me, he isn't sure it's the right call, but don't worry, though. I reminded him you Guardians are the experts here. You've been dealing with this whole witness thing a lot longer than we have. It's okay if we lean back and try a little trust fall. Well, if you drop us, it might be my funeral, but whatever, it'll be fun.